Welcome to some Project TH gameplay. TH stands for Two Hearts, and this game places you in the near future where there is a merger between South and North Korea to create a unified nation of Korea. You play Ji Jong Tae, a North Korean soldier who is part of a military exchange to South Korea, which leads you to confronting an anti government terrorist organization called, and let me try and get this right, Payol Maban. As you progress more, you realize that not everything is as black and white as it seems. Project TH was first teased back in August 2019 when EVR Studio, the developers making this game, put out a company introduction video showcasing what they had worked on and what they are currently developing. And when that video garnered a lot of interest, they followed up with a tech demo which, while very rough around the edges, showed promise for Project TH and had a lot of people interested to see more. We didn't see too much after that until fast forward to late 2022 when we got an official reveal trailer. And since then we've seen more and more updates where we can see that that tech demo we saw back in 2019 is a very distant memory. And what we have now is a game that has transformed entirely. From what I've seen of the game, it seems to take a lot of influence from some of my favorite tactical shooter and stealth games, such as Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid, and Ghost Recon, just to name a few, blending tactical gameplay with stealth, combat, assassinations, and a range of features, gadgets, and weapons to create multiple ways of approaching each conflict and scenario in every mission you encounter. The graphics are looking really promising, though it is still a tech demo, so there is some roughness here and there, so keep that in mind for now, but it will be good to see how fully polished the vision looks down the line because they seem to understand that atmospheric grittiness that seems perfect for this type of game. And the animations as well, so far, are looking really good. It's easy to spot some of the influences from the games I mentioned above in the demos in various areas, such as the melee takedowns, for example, which you could pin to any of those three franchises I mentioned. And I think that's a great thing, honestly. They've got a good feel for world building and setting the mood right, so I am hopeful they'll keep building upon that atmosphere that they're clearly going for. The game isn't playable yet, so I've not had a chance to play it myself, and I've no idea how much it's going to cost. But on their Discord, they described it as an action-adventure game that will be packed with infiltration and combat situations using a third-person point of view. My suspicion is this game may be a PvE linear story-driven game, kind of similar to that of Splinter Cell Blacklist or Ghost Recon Future Soldier, rather than an open world scenario. And I think it will use a lot of the game mechanics you've seen in those games or at least similar to them, offering gadgets and abilities that you can tame, upgrade or skill tree into. I'm hypothesizing that of course, I don't know for sure, but I do hope that the story is a good one. It's one thing to get satisfying gameplay right, but it does seem rare to find a good story in certain video games these days. Even AAA developers seem to be falling short in that area lately too, which is kind of sad. With that said though, they seem to be focused and have a clear vision as I've said, so if the story is anything like the visuals we've seen so far, I'm holding out hope that it's going to be pretty good. They just released another demo update in the past few days, which you can see on the screen right now, and it's a game that I've been watching since I first spotted it a few years back. So it really is amazing to see how far they've come in what is a very short space of time, especially considering their team isn't a big one. There is a dark mood and a grittiness to it that I think leans into, in particular, the Splinter Cell vibe and that kind of sneaking in the shadows feeling that you get from even games as recent as Ghost of Tsushima or as far back as Tenchu. And I always loved that kind of element of obscuring the vision or staying out of sight of the enemy to kind of work my way around the puzzle that was getting to the objective with as little fuss as possible. It is easy to break out and go Rambo, and we don't really have stealth games anymore, more just games that use stealth elements. So it's encouraging to see developers lean back into that, especially with the environments that these guys seem to be building that encourage that type of gameplay. In Project TH, the gameplay mechanics are heavily focused on stealth and strategic combat, drawing inspiration from games like Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, The Division, and so on. Players need to be aware of their exposure to light, the shadows, and noise to remain undetected, acquiring thoughtful use of the environment around them to navigate the encounters and eliminate threats without alerting other enemies. <laughs> From what I can see, the game is blending close quarters combat with ranged attacks 
and seems to want to allow the player a flexibility in their approach depending on the situation and the character used. Now you might be wondering what I mean by that. Well, they've actually mentioned in a blurb on their Discord that there are two other playable characters coming. The three playable characters are going to offer distinct playstyles and abilities that align with their roles in the story. One is the soldier, who is based on more tactical stealth based approaches suitable for missions involving infiltration. Another is a K-pop idol involved in political propaganda and likely has unique abilities to navigate social situations, while the antagonist, a former South Korean military officer and turned terrorist, brings a more aggressive and combat focused style into play. The mechanics are designed to create a tense, realistic experience where the player choices and awareness of surroundings are critical to success. I am curious how this is all going to come together, however the dev diary so far are building a nice picture of what it could look like at the very least for the soldier character which is a more tactical stealth based approach. I'm guessing they'll be building that character out first, I don't know how much of the game is going to be proportioned to this character we see now and how much is going to be the other characters but I'm sure in future dev diaries we'll find out more. <coughs> I'm gonna leave you with some more gameplay from Project TH, but let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a game that you would play as a fan of Ghost Recon or Splinter Cell, Metal Gear Solid, or even The Division? Or do you think you might pass on it? Like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't, and subscribe if you want to, but otherwise, I'll leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>